when I left the Spice Girls, you know, when it was just the time that I just really felt that that chapter was over at that time. I mean, I knew I needed to let it go for that moment, and uh, which was quite sad. I'm going to see one of my favorite people in the world. Yeah, I'm very excited. And I've got her flowers. And the other thing I've got for her, olives. She loves olives. This car is really special. When I left the Spice Girls, I wanted a restart. So I sold all my clothes, you know, my Spice Girl clothes and this car. But actually, I always had this sort of little bit of regret. When I was a little girl, with our first family photo, I'm holding a little red car. I've always wanted a little red car. 20 years later, I got married to a quite nice guy. And I told him how much I missed this car. The nice husband that I have surprised me for my birthday and bought my car back. This means a lot to me, this car. We all love it, don't we? We're coming home. Mommy! Hi! Are you moved home? Hi, Mommy! Who's your favourite? All of you are my favourites, <laughs> but in different ways. <laughs> so someone said, I am the favourite. No, you're not. All are, all I of thought you I was your favourite. I don't need to say it. I'm <gasps> you look guilty. No, no, no. <laughs> look. Oh, look at you, mother. I know. Sexy thing. Who's that? <laughs> Oh my god, that's when I was about 16, 17. Look! Is he with George? You should be Kenny there. Um, I can't yeah, see Kenny's there. Yeah. And that's me pregnant. Look, little ginger girl. Yeah, we're, not, we're not using that picture. <laughs> Remember I told you about how, since I was little, I've always wanted a red car? Could you see it's red? You know why, you know why she is into cars? I just can't tell you how dad used to be a car dealer. So we used to have this house uh, in Warford. Uh, I couldn't have some pe normal people have roses in the, uh, in the garden. We used to have, you know, yes, all full of um, broken cars. It was. Are you running out of the battery? No, no, no. Okay. So we used to be like a yes scrapyard. It was scrapyard there with all that. You have cup of, uh, a cup of tea there. Uh. She's worked her butt off for me. You know, she's been a very, very proactive mother. Oh, and she set an example for the, throughout my life, a work ethic. There's a lot of arts going on. I know, I just, you just forget, don't you? It's funny, isn't it, that you sort of look back at the, the person, the girl that you once was, when I go back. And then I sort of, there's parts that I recognise and parts that I don't. It's just time. You change. You do change. Hachi. Come on. So she took me in this car, and all the girls, there was actually showing to the parents, and this, uh, it was a hotel. Yeah, it was a hotel. A hotel. And they sing uh, the wannabe song. We were showing what, where we were at this before we had any success. You just been giving you that money, but the, is it was Virgin? Right? Yeah, that's the Virgin. Virgin. Virgin, Virgin right? You win, and the first So I picked my mum up in this car and said, look. And we went there, and all the girls, they sang that, that night. When I left the Spice Girls, you know, when, it was just a time that I just really felt that that chapter was over at that time. I mean, I knew I needed to let it go for that moment. And which was quite sad. You know, and then it came back, and so is this car. Come on. Oh, your face. No, no, no. Oh, God, you're putting so now. 
<laughs> you said I won't be a good girl. Right. I'm going to be good. Alright. Love you love. I love right. you too. Alright. Drive carefully. Right. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing does. And um, I always want to appreciate the tip for what it is. Love you lots. I love you too, Mum. Right. I'll see you. Bye. Okay. Everything has its moment. And to sort of recognise that, and you're, you know, it's, you have to sometimes let things go. It takes courage to let it go, doesn't it? Traveling, traveling.